Tick tock. Count the seconds. Reading the second hand on analog clocks. Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on English language learning. Today, we will be focusing on something a little different. Reading the second hand on analog clocks. Specifically, we're going to learn how to determine the current second by counting the tick marks from 12. This might seem a bit challenging at first, but with a little practice, you will master it in no time. So, let's dive right in. First things first, we need to know what we're looking at. When you see an analog clock, you will notice three hands moving around the clock face. The longest, and usually the thinnest of the three, is the second hand. This hand moves quickly around the clock, completing a full circle every minute. Each tiny movement it makes represents one second of time. When it moves all the way around the clock from 12 to 12 again, a full minute has passed. Now, let's take a closer look at the clock face. Around the edge, you'll see tiny little marks, or lines, known as tick marks. These are evenly spaced all around the clock and there are 60 of them in total, one for each second and minute in an hour. When the second hand moves, it will tick past these marks. Starting from the 12 position, every tick mark the second hand passes signifies an additional second. So how do we use these tick marks to tell the exact second? It's simple. You just have to count the tick marks from the 12 position. When the second hand is at the 12 position, it's the start of a new minute, and the count is at zero. As the second hand moves, you count the number of tick marks it passes. For example, if the second hand has moved 15 tick marks away from the 12, then 15 seconds of the current minute have passed. The best way to get comfortable with reading the second hand is through practice. Start by observing an analog clock and counting the tick marks from 12 each time the second hand moves. Remember, patience and practice are key to mastering this skill. And there we have it, folks. That's how you read the second hand on an analog clock and count seconds using tick marks. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep observing and counting those tick marks. We hope this video has been helpful, and we can't wait to see you become a pro at telling time down to the very second. Happy learning and see you in the next video.